Hi, uh, Miguel Goodbar for Adorama Rental Company. We're here with Richard Schlunig. Schlunig. Very good, yeah. <laughs> and he's going to tell us about all the new products that uh, Carl Zeiss has for this year. Yeah, it's been a, an exciting year for us. Um, let me talk with the SLR lenses first, mm -hmm. because uh, they're designed for primarily still photography, but a lot of filmmakers love to use them because we're the last company making manual focus lenses. Mm -hmm. So the, the second to last lens we introduced late last year was the new 25 F2. So it's a, it's a beautiful lens, extremely sharp, virtually no chromatic aberration out to the edges of the frame. So really for the critical photographer and filmmaker, just a really lovely lens. Like all of our uh, SLR lenses, a very buttery smooth focus, hard stops at the infinity and close focus mark, just a really nice lens. The last lens we introduced, excuse me, sir, is the uh, 15 2.8. Introduced last month, um, we'll start shipping this in May. Phenomenal lens. Uh, performance of this one is probably the best ultra-wide lens on the market. Covers a full-frame sensor, 24 by 36 sensor. No vignetting, no distortion. You can shoot architecturally with this. All your horizontal and vertical edges are straight. No, very little post-processing, if any, is, is really required. Just a really beautiful lens. And let me ask you, this is going to be Z and also ZF for Nikon mount. You're exactly. going to have both. Exactly. We'll have both. So uh, this is the, the ZE version. Uh, chipped like the rest of the Z lenses, it does communicate with the camera body. Uh, metadata comes across, um, you're controlling uh, aperture through the camera body like any EF lens. Mm -hmm. Meter works, uh, focus confirmation works. The only thing you have to do is focus manually. Uh, and for filmmakers, it's what they love, you know, because you've got control of focus. Uh, longer rotations, hard stops on both ends, so really nice. And at this show, at the NEB show, we're, we're now introducing five new primes. CP2 mm -hmm. and one new zoom lens as part of the family. So the new primes take us up to 14 different CP2 lenses across 10 different focal lengths. So we now cover on the wide side 15 millimeter up to 135. So it's really it's a versatile product line. The new 15 is uh, in the CP2 family. This is uh, the Nikon version for the new D800. Mm -hmm. Again, it covers the full frame sensor format. And like the rest of the CP2 line, 300 degree focus rotation, manual control of iris, continuous, allows you to pull iris as you're filming. So lots of control, scales are focus calibrated, accurate enough I can actually focus off the scales. I can read the scales from both sides, both the T-stops as well as the, uh, the focus scale on either side of the lens. And like the rest of the CP2 line, the mounts are interchangeable. So you have five different mount options. Uh, Nikon in this case, also Canon, PL, Micro Four Thirds, and E-mount. So we know camera technology is changing very quickly. Uh, lenses today are really your safest investment. And the, the Zeiss lenses in particular are the safest of all because these cover the biggest sensor size we think we'll see in the cine world. Plus, I can mount them to virtually any camera on the market. And these mounts are user interchangeable. So you can invest in one set of lenses, and for less than $400, you buy a mount kit. And in less than five minutes, you've swapped out a mount. One day I can use them on Nikon, the next on Canon, the other day on a RED. Lots of versatility, as you well know, mm -hmm. in your business. Um, the other three lenses we've introduced on the prime side is what we call the super speeds. So we have uh, 35 1.5, new 51.5, and an 85 1.5. So the extra <laughs> wide aperture gives you the ability to shoot lower light, shallower depth of field especially nice on the big sensor cameras and also a bit more of an atmospheric look especially shot wide open mm -hmm. so a little bit more kind of flare around some lights which some people like stop down tack sharp so lots of versatility with these new lenses the super speeds begin shipping august the 15th november 135 in october so these are the five new primes in addition to the new slr lenses and then we introduce a new zoom lens. That's exciting. Let's go the to the other side. Good. Great. So this is the first uh, zoom uh, lens we have in the CP2 family. What's exciting about this lens is uh, a number of things. Two very important ones. It's the only cine zoom lens that covers a full frame sensor. It's mounted today on a 5D Mark III. It's going to cover that big image circle. It's the only cine style zoom lens that will do that. It's also part of the CP2 family, which means the mounts are interchangeable. So even though we have it shown here on a Canon, I can also remove the mount very easily and mount it to a PL mount camera, Nikon, Micro Four Thirds, or E-mount. 
So with the rapid changes in the camera technology in the video industry, this lens in particular, like the rest of the CP2 line, very safe investment. It's going to cover the large sensor, the mounts are interchangeable by the user, so regardless of what camera you use today or into the future, this lens can actually move with you. So it offers a, a zoom range of 70 millimeter to 200, aperture's T2.9, 95 millimeter front, it's all internal focus, focus calibrated scales, long focus rotations, virtually no breathing in the lens, really well controlled. It's also the least expensive cine style zoom lens on the market. List price is $19,900, which again, it's all relative. In the city world, it's actually inexpensive. In the still world, of course, for people who would use a camera like this, it's an expensive lens. There are other options, could be a 70 to 200 still uh, photo zoom lens, which sells for maybe $2,500. So why would you spend almost $20,000 and that much of a difference? And it really comes down to is that a, a lens of this nature is uh, more complex to build because you want to be able to hold focus through the zoom range. You don't want to zoom and have your focus drift, which a lot of still photo zoom lenses will do. So I have very shallow depth of field on a sensor this large. And if I have critical focus and I want to zoom in, I don't want to have to refocus. It's almost impossible to do. You don't have enough hands to do it. A cine style zoom lens, this, and this lens in particular, has three independent zoom groups. So within the lens, there's a lot going on, but actually it allows us to hold focus throughout the zoom range. So I have a critical focus, like say on somebody's eye, to put the nose or something like that, and come in and zoom, and not have that drift. So this lens will allow you to do that. So this is the first of three compact zoom lenses. We'll introduce uh, two more lenses at the end of this year. For now, this will start shipping in November. Richard, thank you so much. As usual, thank you.